Good morning. Hey there. Huh. Tree's looking good. We um got down to 40 last night. I didn't believe them. I just didn't believe them. But I did run out right before dark and turn on all of the heating pads, which I had previously turned off for the year. <laughs> just in case anybody cared. And um, it still feels pretty cool. And we're only getting up in, I think, 68's the projected high. So I've got on short sleeves and no socks this morning. And I'm a little cold. I guess we forgot it was still April. Good morning, Stripe. How are you, bud? Meow. So Morris was here late day yesterday, and Johnny got to rub his stomach again, and all was good, but he's not around this morning, and I don't think he likes that other orange kitty who I've got eating away from Stripe, so he doesn't intimidate Stripe away from his food. Hey there. Hey. It's beautiful out here. 51. I checked when I went back inside and put my jacket on. <laughs> it, it, it just about can't get any better. Yep. Hi, Tux. Are you ready? Ready, Freddy? That's the wrong direction, though. Let's go this way. Come on. He likes chasing the girls more in the morning than he does doing, you know, guy walks, responsibility walks, walks with mom. He may yet come, though. Very little movement in the intermittent creek. You decided you could come? That's good of you. Listening to the birds chirp. Pulling some weeds. Exercising the kitties. Practicing de-stressing. You know. All that good stuff. Hi, Gray. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> it's just what he does. Some of my leg muscles are burning, but I got the rest of the tall weeds pulled two feet in there. As gently as I could not to throw topsoil down into the creek bed but uh you know i'm just taking advantage of these nice mornings when the mosquitoes aren't carrying me away and uh, a little extra time with the kitties who seem to appreciate it and it's good for me i think okay i can tell johnny i saw morris hi buddy yeah, Tux is behind me. You probably should scoot on back up the hill. Glad to see you're doing good. Hey, bud. I don't want to be mean. I do feel the need to give you a small amount of encouragement to go back where you came since I've got Tux behind me. I'll send Johnny to see you in a little bit, sweetheart. Don's working. Johnny's doing his school, his virtual academy stuff. And I'm going shopping with Michelle. Sorry, guys. Although I don't think they would want to go to Guardian Angel necessarily. Anyway, uh, I uh, took a minute and I blew the parking pad and the sidewalk and all of the places we sit. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm really not that obsessed with it. But, 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 um, uh, no noise or very little noise no gas fumes no cranking no dealing with gas uh, inexpensive did I say it was pretty quiet and um, I don't like that stuff tracked in the house and in the car and all over the cats so uh, this time of year especially it's kind of it's kind of survival for me to get that stuff cleared off so Wow, you I pressed the button to open the garage door and I was getting beeps and more beeps and more beeps and I'm like, holy cow, it's not going to open and Don's on that morning 10 a.m. conference call. I can't go get him to come out and fix it. I just would have gone in the house and um, I just would have gotten Jules. I, I really, that's what I would have done. Um, Ruby didn't get locked up overnight. I think that's because the key was in clock's proximity to the car for an extended period of time, the key fob. 
So let me stop filming because I'm going to have to push the door button. So this one came up behind me as I was backing out. Um, and I have to say that I have left up the repeater camera, the side cameras. I've left them up. Um, but I don't normally look at them. I sort of intentionally ignore them, I think is the right thing to say. You know, there's no way you can be looking left, right, forward, behind, and all three cameras at the same time. But I have to say that my peripheral vision picked up the movement. And I wasn't moving fast. And I now see one of the other gray kitties back there. But, um, you know, better would be a camera that lets me see in the front. Especially when I'm coming up the driveway over that hill. But... The cameras that I do have are really helpful in keeping kitties um, safe, and I can see where she is. And like I said, I'd love to be able to tell that she's now in front of the car, um, which I'm sure she is. I would suspect maybe here in a minute she'd come around the side to go, you know, I'm blocking the, the, the boardwalk where she wants to walk. Or she may have just stopped in front of the garage, because I think that's gray, and gray, she kind of does her own thing. Um... But at any point, I'm just, it wasn't a close call with Tux, but he did startle me coming out from behind me. And I am glad for the additional help of the movement on the cameras and seeing that he was coming. So I got out of the car to make sure she was safe. I did. I, I love my kitties. I'm always going to be safe. I couldn't see her. I knew she wasn't under, you know, beside in front of the car anymore. So where is she? She's behind the car. Um, I'm going to ease back. I have to back up just a smidge. I'm not going to hit her. Actually, that might be Slate, the other one. Um, thankfully, the suspect, yeah, it's Slate. So, Gray was there. I guess all three of them were in the front yard doing something. But my point is that, uh, I was going to say, the suspension on the X is a little creaky. And when it comes to the kitties, it's a good thing. Because they don't like the creak. And, um... It helps. A lot of times if I go to move the car, I will move two or three inches, brake, creak. Move two or three inches, brake, creak. I do that three times. And it's my little signal to kitties I'm getting ready to be in motion. Um, anyway, I'm as careful as I can every day that I can. Uh, accidents sometimes happen to good people. I try not to let them happen here um, with me, Ruby, and the kitties. So 2021.4.15 just says minor cold weather improvements and bug fixes. Uh, apparently nothing they want to advertise as being new. I don't know. Um, like I said, if you want the deets on all of the software releases, even the little ones that are just bug fixes, someone that's really paying attention to the little stuff, that would be Casey Green. Go to his channel, watch his review of that he does a fantastic job of finding little nuances of things they've changed. He's got a really good regimen for baselining, you know, behavior and then knowing if it's changed a little bit. Um, I'm not likely to notice what's going on, but whenever I'm not sure, I go watch Casey's video and I find out. So, um, I'm ready for a big juicy update, Tesla. I'm ready for the... I want the FSD beta button. I'm ready for, I don't know, whatever. I'm ready for some big, juicy new stuff. Now, you know, the software um, updates, they vary in um, frequency. They just do. Sometimes it seems like there's three in a month, and then sometimes you'll go for six weeks and only get one. Um, so they, they vary. There's no set schedule to them. When they have new stuff to share or when they need to fix something, they put one out. It's just that simple. Um, I think that's a good, I think that's fine. That, that's good. But all of us spoiled Tesla drivers, we are so used to getting new free stuff that when we go too long without it, of course, we want, we want something. And I'm definitely at the point where Christmas was a little less than we thought. Um, they didn't put all of the stuff out. Um, that we thought they they were going to and here we are in April and we still don't really have that stuff from Christmas and I'm not complaining I'm just salivating over the possibility of more new stuff and and hoping for it and appreciative when they give it but the not 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 complaining um, I don't know if it was last year I think it was the year before I think it was uh, the spring of 19 we waited went a little while that 
uh, after the holiday season for an update that year too. It seemed like an inordinate amount of time and we were all like, come on, we're, we're thirsty for something new. Throw us something new. Because you know, you basically have a whole group of, um, you have a whole group of well, at least in 19 you did. Technology savvy people driving your cars, wanting to test out new stuff, eager for new things. Um, and that still is a large majority of the drivers. So throw us a bone, throw us a bone. We're ready for, we're ready for something new. We're just sitting here waiting to test out some new stuff. Just making sure under software that I don't see a button added. Just making sure, gotta make sure. <laughs> Time out, time in, 10.40 a.m. Hey, girl. Hello, I brought your towel and I got some little stuff in here I found over the weekend. Okay, well, cool, thank you. You're welcome. I'll open up the trunk. You haven't been putting shopping time out, have you? No. <laughs> Good. No, not yet, but <laughs> they, I will. I'll they get, they get the, to get to the other side. <laughs> they get the cutest little uh, school chairs in here sometimes. I'm still looking for metal um, construction vehicles that Johnny might not have, but uh, looking a little less for the actual cars. <laughs> I'm resisting because I don't need it, but he's so stinking cute with his little sweater on his little sweater even has um elbow protectors and everything and he's in great shape and yeah okay i need another vera bradley bag like i need a hole in the head but i like the fabric and i want it it is an avon cologne container an old telephone style it's very cute i think connor and your cats need that the, can't you just hear the ping pong balls bouncing now <laughs> Don't worry, be happy. It's a beautiful kitty. Michelle had to show me that that was meant to be hanging over the edge of the shelf. I'm like, but still, I mean, I guess if I had a library with bookshelves and he could be up high where I could look up at him looking down, it would work. So Don's been playing Geo Quiz on Amazon while he takes his blood pressure every morning, which is fine by the way. And this map goes for $13 new on Amazon and it's $2 here. And I think it looks like it's never been out of the tube and I think he'll enjoy hanging it in the garage. Came around the corner and she goes, is it? I think it is. And she turned and we were both like, it's Darth Vader. She didn't hesitate going home with her. Yes, Michelle, the flag model. It says share joy. That's what you get with me, baby. Yeah, exactly. I think I need that in my life. I think I like that better than the one I bought and have up now. I really like it, actually. I love okay. the, the bumblebee. is really cute. Yep, I agree. And cherry blossoms and daisies. All the right. Michelle and I both found some shorts. And, you know, they're $1.79 here. So if you buy five and you end up returning one because they don't fit, who cares? And paying more money for them won't make them fit better. I've certainly been seeing a lot of love one another, be kind another, be happy, all those good. You know, it's kind of like a therapy appointment coming in here and reading all of the positive slogans. <laughs> so choose happy, the theme of, you know, being in a good mood continues and I don't know this one I thought was really cute followed by due to unfortunate circumstances I am awake you guys <laughs> probably don't know but I'm sort of sleepy in the morning that's nicely putting it Don will say <laughs> well isn't that special Don and I often talk about this, and this is definitely not me. My motto is more along the lines of don't leave for the day. Ugh. My motto is more along the lines of don't leave for tomorrow what you can possibly squeeze into today. That's more how I roll. I'm like, oh no, Michelle. I, that one's black and white. It goes in Ariel's room. It fits her decor. It's yeah, I'm sorry, girl, but I think you're taking another one of those home today. All right, it's 2.04. Michelle's all loaded up and on her way home. Let me check my messages because uh, I was thinking about stopping back by the garden hut for a few flowers to fill um, just a couple of pots that still need something. Trying to think if I have the energy for that, <laughs> I should come do it tomorrow or Monday or probably if I don't go I'll regret it later when I feel up to doing something that I didn't make the effort to go make it happen while I was out and about so we'll see I decided I couldn't stay away 
I think she's added even a bunch more new stuff since I stopped by the other day and that she's very ready for the weekend crowd and she's very crowded today. There's a ton of people here. Just look at all of those beautiful hanging baskets. Wow. You can't see the annuals. They're on the other side. I'll show them at home. But the ladies swore this will bloom the whole summer in a good bit of shade. They swore. And it's not a water hog. And yeah, so I think that's going to make Don happy. Better make Don happy. Yeah, so I asked, um, we'll call him a college intern, one of the young kids that was working there, if he would help me over to the car with my stuff because... They really don't have a good path for the carts to get out to the outer part of the parking lot. And I knew he was going to have to take it down off the curb and yeah. So he helped me over and I was like, here, let me summon the car forward so you can get to the trunk. And I don't think he knew what that meant. I mean, he knew it was a Tesla and he said, wow, that's a nice car. And so, you know, summon often fails the first time for me, but it only takes a few extra seconds to hit it again. And so Ruby summoned just great the second time and he was like floored. He had not seen that before. It was, it was thrilling for him and it was exciting for me to see his excitement over it. And uh, I just couldn't help myself. I just sort of had to do it. I just, well, she really was very far back in the space. You know, I always back in. So if you actually need to put stuff in the trunk, then I pretty much do need to pull her forward a bit, so, um, but it worked out. That was fun. <laughs> Bring a little Tesla love to a new person today. So I told the ladies at Guardian Angel that I was, I caused a disappointment in not getting the Wright Brothers first day of issue stamp uh, oh, about a I, month ago. Yeah. And that if I even remotely thought you might like it, it was related to your interest that I should pick it up. So. Problem. You have a brand new Rand McNally world map since your current, um, oh, wow. since your current uh, passion is sort of geography. While you're doing your blood pressure in the morning, you play the little daily geography quiz. It looks cool. like it hasn't been out of the tube. I agree. It really is still for sale on Amazon for the price on there of $12.99, and they really did sell it to me for $2. Way cool. So you don't have to stress about a thumbtack in the garage or, oh, you yeah. know, just enjoy the darn map. We don't yeah. have to, you know, a $100 right. frame for a $2 map, but... I agree. Anyway, yeah. that's for you. I got you. I so, think it'll look great right You know, here. I thought about that, and if you want to put command strips up and put it there, I'm good with it. I understand. I am. I actually thought about that. I'm like, well, the only place in the house would be the dining room table, and it's your turn. Yeah. I well. can take a turn. Command strips come up and they go down. Yeah. Well, we might. We'll have to think. We'll think, think on it. But that had already. That's no surprise no to me. Surprise. That was going to come up. Great so. Minds think alike. Yeah. So now it's time to show Don the plants before I let him go back to his office. He says he was out here sitting in the sun trying to warm up. The air vent is blowing on him at his desk. It's right there. And uh, anyways, out here sitting on our bench without me. Aww. So. Oh my God. <laughs> Gee, <laughs> I count at least three dozen holes I must have to dig. No, there's two holes in a hanging basket. Mm. Uh, this is supposed to make you happy right it's i think not... that i think that could go to the mailbox and we yeah. won't be fussing about it yeah, anymore we can hang it from the back side of the mailbox right but i also think maybe we should plant this down there down there. or that down there at the mailbox either one of those behind the mailbox they're both take part shade they both have a flower a what little white flower it's not like a summertime tropical flower but they both have a flower um, the yellow one was in our 50% off section. I sort of couldn't help myself. And then, and then there's this, um, that pot that's down there. Uh, the zinnias are actually part shade. You know, the coleus probably it is, even the begonia. So anyway, all I'm trying to say is you could bring that planter up and we could still put some, the one out at the mailbox oh, with yeah, the creeping yeah, yeah. Jenny. And we are going to still plant that up. But yes, I figured you were going to hook hang the hanging basket. Okay. Well, that'll give uh, something to do after I get off. Yeah, just a, a little something. A little. And me putting the little plants in the pots is a little something. I want to swap out the pot we have in the middle of the um, 
septic tank lid. Mm. Well, that one doesn't look so nice anymore and the flower that's there really could use a little more sun than it's getting. So I thought I'd just move the pot and maybe one of the ones we filled up last night we're gonna put in this as the centerpiece there. Either that or I'll be going and getting another pot. Oh God, <laughs> they're expensive. <laughs> this is not our usual outing in Ruby. No, no, no. We got a little special outing to the mailbox. Yeah, but we're gonna bring back a heavy pot, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to have to carry it. Otherwise, right? You could have taken the hanging basket, and I am watching for Gray. You could have taken the hanging basket out on the unicycle and probably done just fine, fine, especially if you were up and moving and I handed it to you. But right. um, right. yeah, we are bringing back the pot at the mailbox so that I can do your deal. do my thing yeah. yep so don said he really wanted flowers down here yeah. he really wanted flowers and i told him there's not as much sun down here as he thinks all these trees a matter of fact like uh, maybe three hours in the middle of the day is all the sun it gets uh -huh. um so i've got something for shade the ladies at the garden hut promise me promise 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 you should probably plop it on the ground because the ants promise me that this plant would flower all summer long in the shade yeah don's gonna put a hook we're gonna hang it front or back oh wow, i didn't know i had options i was assuming back but um you didn't tell me there was going to be a front option yeah i don't think the male guy I mean, will hit it if it's in the front it's not that big of a basket well, you know what? Real Stick fine. the hook in the front. We have another one just like it up at the garage. We won't remove it if it doesn't work out. Yes, but we'll, yeah. Yes, ma'am. But anyway, we're going to put some plants in the pot besides the Creeping Jenny and bring this back. Yes, and I'm happy to see the Creeping Jenny is actually growing in the ground now. Because I really like this plant. It does good with little maintenance. And it's, I like it. Um... Yeah, sorry Ruby, you get in plant haul in detail. You're the you're the Tesla that's not perfectly clean because I drove you in the rain a few days ago. Oh well, I, this has got a big round base. I can't that. Dum da dum dum, dum da dum dum dum. <laughs> well, I agree that I don't think it's going to interfere with the operation of the mailbox. And that's Don thinking outside the box because I just assumed we were putting it on the back. So I'm, I think I'm happy with it. And we're going to level the other thing, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's going to be level this year, right? This is the year for leveling anything that's not level. Oh, yeah, right. Uh huh. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Wow, Walmart's got in some new flowers. Check it out. They got some impatience. Yep, they sure do. They have a lot of stuff to choose from. Let's see. Geraniums. Lots of things with Creeping Jenny. That is very orange. Yeah, it is. Look at the striped petunia. Huh. Very pretty. The problem with buying them and they already look that good is they get root bound really early in the summer and they don't last until the fall. Mm. My opinion. So Donnie, it wasn't Home Depot, but technically we had Friday night date night. That's right. It was Friday night date night. That's right. <laughs> Saturday you got a date with a shovel. 